Hi, this is Jim Stringer, and this is Telescript AV Advanced Tutorial Number Four: Exporting and Saving Scripts. Now, this is not specifically about saving scripts or loading scripts. This is about how you export when you have to share a file uh, with, say, one of your associates. You've edited a file. They're going to take the file and run it on a separate machine or in a separate location. You may also have to load scripts or run lists that are created by a client or one of your associates. Now we'll start off talking about how computers and Windows in particular, how it differentiates scripts on the disk. We'll go up here to File Open and we'll look at, let's say, look at the line numbers manual edit, which this is a script that uh, I use in the office to uh, check synchronization of computers and one thing and another. This is line numbers manual edit dot rtf. Notice that this folder is the Telescript Pro data folder. Now, as it happens, this same file exists right here, line numbers manual edit dot rtf it also exists in this folder the way that uh, windows differentiates these two files is through what's called a fully qualified path and this fully qualified path just click in the address bar and it'll come up this is c users j strings that's me documents telescript av data scripts and the file of course is line numbers manual edit now, if I, uh, I'll go ahead and load that script. It's already loaded in the in the uh, run list, but I'll just remove it here for. Uh, so this is the script we just loaded. You can check, uh, by the way, uh, uh, the. Uh, script information and you can see the script name C user the what I showed in the uh, fully qualified path now let's load the same script from another location and for this I'll go back to uh, telescript pro data to scripts line numbers manual edit and I'll open that and then you see they have the same name in the folder. Now when I export this uh, to another user's uh, for one of your associates to use the same file, it's important that I differentiate between these two. Now if they have uh, uh, um, Let's remove this particular file right here. We'll, we'll remove the one that came from the Telescript AV data. And now I'm going to save this run list. This just saved sample run list.trl. Now uh, I'm going to show you something here that you can get the run list info and then you can view this run list in notepad and it will help you to see exactly what a what a run list looks like this is actually what you're saving when you save a run list and you'll notice it has names the names of the scripts as they are in order and it also includes the uh, complete uh, fully qualified path so here we have C user J strings pro data scripts line numbers manual edit came from pro data the remainder of these scripts with the exception of this one came from pro data the remainder of them came from telescript AV data now when this run list is saved if you simply take this find this run list in uh, in the location where it was saved and that you can always find in run list info. You see where this was saved. C users, J strings, documents, telescript AV data, script sample run list.trl. When you 
if you were to go to this folder, copy this run list, and then paste it into, say, a flash drive, the only thing that would be saved on that flash drive is what we saw previously, which is this. None of the scripts, and not only that, but when the uh, when your associate gets the run list, these folders, these uh, fully qualified paths will not exist because the chances are they're not didn't name their uh, a primary folder J strings, and it may not exist in Telescript Pro data. There may not be a C drive for that matter. It may be being loaded off a flash drive. So, <coughs> how to deal with this? There's a feature on uh, Telescript AV called export, and it's controlled the way that it's exported is controlled by the preferences tab in the miscellaneous box and that's this box right here it says include complete script path when exporting run list you notice I have it unchecked because what I want the program to do is I want it to save the run list without the qualifying fully qualified path I want it to save just the names of the scripts and in addition I want it to create a copy of this script from my computer onto the flash drive or external media or the network drive or wherever we're sending it. I want it to copy it, uh, the script as it exists on my computer onto that external media. So I'm going to leave that unchecked and then I'm going to export the run list to an external de destination. The uh, dialog box comes up and says export run list will copy the run list itself and a copy of each script to a location which you specify any existing files by the same name will be overwritten this is very important remember I at one point had two copies of a script called Lime numbers manual edit which if we don't copy the fully qualified path we don't have any way to know which one is which uh, the total expected size is estimated to be about 149 kilobytes. It's unlikely that you'll ever exceed the uh, storage capacity of, of external media, but it could happen, and you need to make sure that you have adequate space on the external drive. So I'll say yes, and now it's asking me for a uh, name. As it happens, I'm going to make a, um, a folder on my desktop called export and we'll just pretend that this is a flash drive so I'll change to that I'll save this sample run list and now let's look at that folder here's uh, export and here's what's in the folder in export as you can see there is a copy of each script there is a uh, it's copied from whatever location we had it uh, had loaded it into Telescript AV, and then in addition, there is this file, which is the sample run list.trl, and I'm going to open this. I I have like a link to open things with Notepad, and as you can see, here's my sample run list.trl, which was exported without fully qualified paths and it simply says here are the names of the scripts you should load and it's going to find them in this folder in the uh, home folder for the uh, particular when your associate opens this folder opens the flash drive or whatever they'll see both the uh, TRL and then they'll see each script and when you click on the TRL it will load each one of these scripts in turn without a fully qualified path. Now the good thing about having it in this um, simplified form is that even if I'd saved it to my desktop I can take this export folder and I can drag and drop it to uh, I don't happen to have a uh, uh, convenient folder in here but I'll 
use one of my network drives and uh, I have a folder that's set up for things like this called exchange uh, so I'm going to go back here one of the things that you can do that makes this very handy is that I'll go back to my desktop and I'll copy the folder and then uh, I'll go back to uh, my exchange directory and I'll just paste that folder into this exchange directory so this is now imagine this is now on my flash drive I hand this to my associate and they can simply go to uh, Telescript AV, they can open uh, and open the Telescript TRL run list and we'll say no, don't save this and we'll go back to uh, my exchange folder and uh, open export sample TRL and there you see it's back intact and at this point, when I go run list info and view it, the run list info in the uh, in notepad, what you'll see is that I have, once again, just the names of the scripts. It loaded them from the folder where the user opened the run list. So in this case, it would open them from my exchange folder and here they are intact and you're assured that these are the right scripts because it created a folder it copied a copy of each script into that folder which means they are the versions that you have uh, have, have intended to export now and then when you import these as you can see they are let's look again at the uh, run list info and see where our run list is from. So you can see it says run list path is TSW Telescript West Exchange Export Sample Run List, which means when I make changes to this and save this run list, it's going to be saved to this folder. If you wish to save it on your local machine, go through yet another export run list and let's. Uh, once again, uh, we'll do, uh, I'm going to call this sample run list reload. So this is now a, uh, a separate run list and we'll not save this before closing and I'll do sample run list reload and you see there's our scripts. This time the run list info shows that it uh, oh, I forgot to change the folder, but uh, this would say it's from the uh, desktop. So I hope this uh, clarifies some of the items about exporting, saving. Saving as a run list is not the same thing as uh, exporting. Save as just changes the name of the run list. It does not change the content of the run list or make it suitable for exporting. Hopefully uh, any questions can be answered by just experimenting with this and thinking it out in terms of uh, how Windows and this is not uh, uh, solely on Windows. This is also how uh, Macs and uh, uh, Linux and other operating systems, uh, Android, many other systems this is the same way that they uh, keep track of scripts and importing and exporting is just simply a fact of life. Join us again for tutor Telescript Tutorial number 5.